this is where we do the field test of the car and see how fast it goes. <laughs> All right, so we've got Jerry Ross here, one of my personal heroes. And Jerry, you've been a uh, you're a hero to a lot of people. You've been I was thinking about this, Jerry. You've been a, you became an astronaut in 1980, that's right? right? That's right, Mass. Before the shuttle flew. Yep. Right. Yep. And you, I think you're the you're probably the only astronaut from the class of 1980 still in the still active, quasi active. Still, still active. Yeah. So you have seen. I think you. Well, maybe there's a couple others, but you're one of the few astronauts that have seen the whole length of the shuttle program. Yeah. Right. right. You started. You've seen every shuttle. You've been an astronaut during every shuttle flight. Yeah, I think uh, Shannon Lucid is still in the office. Right, and yeah. Anna Fisher, Anna Fisher still yeah. in the office. Anna was on sabbatical for a while, but right, yeah, she, she's yeah. there. Yeah. So, but just just a couple of them. You're one of the few yeah. that have right. been. So, how does it now? So, you've gone from start to finish, That's and you're here. At the, we're here at the Kennedy Space Center, coming up the Vehicle Assembly Building. But what's going through your mind now? As far as the end of the shuttle, yeah. uh, I I wanted to stay here. I wanted to be able to say that I completed the the shuttle from beginning right. to end. And my main goal is to stay around and be one of those uh, voices that can cry from the wilderness <laughs> if I sense that there's something that's not going, going right. 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 Well, you had seven space shuttle flights, yes, which is the record. Too. Yes. You, I think someone tied you, right? Franklin Chang, Franklin Chang did. Yeah. But you guys have seven. I mean, I've, yeah. I've been lucky enough to go twice, but yeah. you've gone seven times, which is a record. It's the most space flights anyone's had, right? Yeah. You and Franklin uh, are tied. It was a good start. It was a good start. <laughs> so you would, and I know you well enough to know that you would be ready to go on this next one. I keep waiting in the for final four. To break a leg or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, you're ready. Yeah. You're ready to go on more. You can't get enough. Yeah, I keep a launch and entry suit down here ready for me. And, yeah, yeah, just just in case. Yeah. You never know, and you yeah. can do the job easily. Right. But uh, but the cool thing for us, you know, is that you know you've got all this experience. You go, but you're still there to help any new person that needs anything. You're to, you, there's nothing too little, too big you won't no, do for them. I, I enjoy seeing new guys come on board yeah. and see the uh, the excitement in their eyes. It's kind yeah. of like a kid on Christmas morning, right. you know. Yeah. I still have that. I still feel that. And yeah. to be able to see new guys come on board and kind of help see that through their eyes again, yeah. but also to help to try to pass on some of the lessons learned and yeah. and make sure that they don't make some of the same mistakes that we've made previously and can help them over some of the bumps quicker, maybe. Yeah. It's it's fun. I. You know, I've been asked many times to take management positions, and the, the very lowest level of management position I have now is totally comfortable with me. Yeah. I never wanted to be a boss of a big organization. Yeah. I always wanted to be close to the operations, close to the hardware. Right. Uh, I always wanted to continue to fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, there's only so many so many times you can go, but uh, but yeah, but you you have that spirit. You've never lost your enthusiasm for the job. No, I could always tell when my friends were getting ready to leave the astronaut office. Yeah. As you know, it's a very challenging environment, yeah. both physically and mentally. Yeah. And uh, it's tough on the family as well. Um, but I could always tell when my friends were getting to the point where they were about ready to say, that's it, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going elsewhere. Because they'd start to complain about having to fly or having to go in the simulator or getting into the suit and getting into the water tank. Yeah. And on my seventh flight, I still felt like a kid in a candy <laughs> shop. And I said, oh, boy, we get to do this again. Yeah. You know, this is all good stuff. I remember this. And this is, the, well, this is one of the good parts right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to drive 113s today. This is good yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I feel extremely blessed, Mass, to yeah. have had the opportunities. Uh, to see so many people come through the astronaut office and share part of their lives yeah. with them, and uh, a tremendously talented professional group of people, yeah. and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've, I've always felt that uh, as a as an organization, I mean NASA as a whole, as an organization, particularly the art office, yep. is the best. They have the best group of people yep. in the world. I would challenge any organization to to just to, just based on the just the character of the people, the people right. we get to work with daily are just great uh, people. I think one, of the, one of the neatest things that I've sensed, not only at JSC or KSC, but almost everywhere within NASA, anybody you talk to, everybody says they've got the best job. <laughs> yeah. And I don't care if it's it's one of the cooks here in the crew quarters or if it's uh, somebody that's a machinist in one of the manufacturing facilities right. or guys working out on the line helping us to keep the airplanes flying or whatever it is. Everybody is enthralled with what they're doing, and most of them would do it even if they didn't get paid. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's the way they are. Yeah. And they just feel like they're making major contributions to our country's space program, and that's what keeps them there and keeps them excited. Yeah. 
It's it's a great place to work, isn't it? Yes, it it's is. It's the best. They, yeah, they can't do any better than this. I've been uh, very fortunate throughout my Air Force and NASA careers to have exciting jobs and exciting things to do. And but NASA is by far the the group of people that comes to work every day with a smile on their face and yeah. really is engaged in what they're doing. Do you have a, uh, as we're getting closer to the crew quarters, and, and we're going to have to get out of the car soon, What do you have a, uh, a favorite memory? This is probably an impossible question. You probably have a favorite hundred, but does anything come to mind out of all the years, something that uh, sticks out to you? Yeah, I think... I've got some favorite stories you've told me. I'm wondering yeah. what you're going to come up with. Go all ahead. Right, all right, well, this is going to be a test. All right, go ahead. All right, let's see what you come up with. Uh, I think one of the most unique experiences I ever had as a, as a human being is on my third space shuttle flight. I was outside on a spacewalk. I was on the end of the mechanical arm and it was way well above the uh, payload bay. Yeah. And um, and Jay App, my spacewalking buddy, was outside and the guys inside were concentrating on what Jay was doing. Right. And so they told me just to relax for a second while they helped Jay with some procedures. And so I turned off my helmet mounted lights yeah. tried, and I looked up at the blackness of space and I tried to uh, dark adapt my eyes as best I could to right. see as many stars as possible. Right. And I will never forget doing that, just standing out there, and I had this sense of being my own little spacecraft, my own sp spacesuit, yeah. and being at unity with the universe. And for an engineer, that is a weird thing to be saying, that you had yeah. this feeling of being at unity with the universe. And I, I felt like, at that point, I was doing exactly what God had designed me to do. Yeah to be out there in space, in a spacesuit, and in that time we were investigating ways of manually constructing structures in space. Mm -hmm. uh, using your hands, using your brain, and working with a team of people both in the vehicle and down on the ground to investigate and push back the horizons of man's ventures off into the, into the universe. And it's yeah. what a cool thing to feel. What a great way to experience uh, everyday working in space.